Ready? Yep. Ready? All right, scene two, take three. Action. I'm really doing this YouTube channel just to document my journey and watch my growth over the years while I'm pursuing finally going towards the goal. You know, for years I've been sitting back and people have been noticing my work, my consistency, the level of execution, my seriousness, my business mind. And they've been taking advantage of that by having me join their teams and all that type of stuff, right? And what I can say, over the years doing that, okay, it will always start out as if, me and my boy Zeke, shout out Zeke. We always like, yo, we got great ideas, and we need to pursue them. We need to build them out, build a team around us, and just press through. But every single time, it's while we in the process of doing that, something will happen to where, oh, well, we got this person that want to work with us. We kind of rock with them, so let's go work with them. Two years down the line, it's like everything starts to like fall off a little bit. We're no longer working with them. And in the midst of that, me and Zeke is like, bro, what do we, why do we do that? We're the money. Let's focus. Then we start to focus again. And then we end up going with somebody else. Two, three, five years down the line. It's like, bro, why do we do that? Once again, we the money. So it was this cycle of just going through that every single time when we finally got to, um, figured out that we need to be focused on us so this is the first time in my life i'm 31 now i've been doing this since i was 18 bro this is the first time in my life my bad 17 really this is the first time in my life where i'm no longer doing that you know what i'm saying i've been putting the major goal for my life to the side for like years just because I don't know it's it felt too big maybe it felt too big so maybe it scared me and maybe it pushed me to the side and made me say uh push maybe I pushed it to the side just to say uh well if I go do this with this person for a little while it might get me closer to that not understanding I, I I knew it and I understood it at the time, but not wanting to accept, right? Not wanting to accept that that's what was going on. I'm pushing it to the side. I'm not facing it head on. You know what I'm saying? And then people that was, I wouldn't say underneath me, but they weren't at my level at the moment, end up surpassing me. And then I'm looking like, bro, like we should be on the same level right now like what's going on like what did i miss out on i missed out on not pursuing that head on right so i say that to say it's a lot of us out here that are moving afraid but don't even understand that we moving afraid not even really moving afraid but just moving in another direction with our lives when we want to be going this way or that way, or whatever way you, you want to go up and down, it really don't care, really don't matter. Um, I say that to say that we're moving in other opposite, in other opposite directions. That's not the main direction that we want to be moving in for our lives. So we sit there and we keep doing that and doing that and doing that for years, for years, for years, over and over and over. And then we're going to look up and be like, yo, I'm what, 50 years old and I ain't got nothing to show for it because I wanted to do this. But I ended up going that way because 
I won't even blame it on other people and them getting to your head. It's really you because you have the power to literally tell yourself, like, I want this. I'm going to go do it. I'm going to work towards that. But at the same time, you got to understand that. What the hell was I trying to say? At the same time, you got to understand that that's only going to happen if you're actually taking that leap of faith and saying, forget it, whatever happens, happens, but at least I tried. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get it if you don't ever try. So we need to start trying and going crazy at our trying. For a long time, people been telling me for years, bro, you're fire at the camera, but you should be directed. Like, you're fire at the camera, but you should be like, but you, you're better than this person at directing. You're better than this person at, you know, coming up with the concepts and all that type of stuff. Like, they're cool. They might be a little more vocal than you are and all that type of stuff. Cool. But directing is so much more than just being vocal and being loud all the goddamn time. Directing is literally what you're doing. You should do that. Stop focusing on this camera so much. And for a long time, it was so hard for me to accept that because literally like a lot of the work I was doing over the years, it was always my concepts. Now, the uh, the artists, the management teams or whatever may not have the may not have the had the budgets to bring out exactly what my vision was. But I, I still did my best. You know what I'm saying? And. However it played out, I can't knock nobody. You know what I'm saying? But everything happens for a reason. And for some reason, it just always told me that I need, like, I have the ideas and I can build them out myself. I can go get the money myself. Just go do my stuff. To be honest, I stopped doing music videos. I've been doing them since I was 17 years old. But at the same time, it was just like, bro, I, I don't like doing this. I never felt connected to it. I don't care for him. You know what I'm saying? So the whole time I was always like, bro, I picked up a camera for the first time because I wanted to do movies. I picked up the camera the first time because I wanted to document me and my homies at the time because we had a rap group and we was coming up and I couldn't get a hold of nobody with a camera. And the person that we did wanted $60 every time he popped out. And then, like, randomly, he was talking about, like, getting $200, $250. It was like, I can't afford to pay that every single time. Let me go just buy a camera. Bought a camera. And it was just like, I bought a camera to do our videos and all that stuff. But I was literally, that's when I sat down and was like, bro, I want to learn how to do scripts. I want to learn how to do this. I want to learn how to do that. I'm looking at people like... Um, Spike Lee. I'm at at that time. I'm looking at uh, the Hughes brothers and like you know the boys in the hoods and all that type of stuff. Uh, the John Singletons, and I'm just sitting there like, bro, I can do this. Like, I come from these kind of areas. I come from this kind of area already, and these are stories that I've seen happen for real, for real. I got a ton of stories, and I can figure out how to craft it. How to build, how to build up the treatment. I know, it. bro. I'm getting like really off base with the point of why I even started talking in the first place. I really don't even remember. Um, eight minutes, damn. Um, this is supposed to be a motivational talk. What am I doing? Briefly talking about creating dynamics. Okay. The motivation talk over. I messed that up. We'll figure it out next time. Um, this YouTube channel is all about me documenting my journey, and my growth over the years as I'm going for my main goal. That's it. So the main goal for me is being a film and television screenwriter director. Simple as that. Um... The main goal for me is owning, I already own my own production company, having my production company, writing, directing my movies, 
That was it. That's it. And owning my own studio, movie studio complex, television studio complex, whatever you want to call it, like back, like sound stages, back lots, all that type of stuff. Um, basically, what Trillip Studios got, I want something like that for myself, wherever I may do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my main goal. That's what I always seen since I was a since I was a young little bull. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but that's been my goal this whole time. And now I feel like it's time to actually like see it come to fruition. 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 I got the time. Uh, I'm in the right headspace and all that stuff. I'm completely done with all the with all the BS now. And it's just, this is the time to focus. And I just want to show y'all that. But at the same time, this channel is also to show y'all everything else that I got going on. Because I'm a overall creative. If you didn't know, I'm a director, screenwriter, graphic designer. I own e-commerce brands, fashion brands, and all that type of stuff. Um, I do a lot. I do music, I can produce, I manage artists, I got a I got a record label that I run, Ocean Club. It's a lot going on over here. And I feel like this is something I want to document, show people, um, build my personal brand up and just like let y'all know like this is this is me, this is what's what I got going on and yeah, let's get to it. Rule number one, stop being so complex. Start with the logo T. Human experience on everything. On the back, right down the spine. To love is to love all. Simple as that. Let's go.